Welcome back. So one of the things that we haven't made for the fuselage yet is the little doors or hatch covers that cover the openings in the rear pressure bulkhead. And fortunately these ones are simple so they don't need to have a mold created. All we're going to do is cut out these sort of um, rounded rectangle shapes out of the divina cell which is this um, one inch thick uh, foam core and then basically just cover that with some carbon fiber. So I just put the divina cell up on the machine here and cutting it. So just doing it with a 45 degree angle and that matches the same as the opening uh, in the pressure bulkhead which I'll show you again in a little bit just to, to refresh your memory. Um, so anyway it doesn't take long to do this with the machine and you know because I've done this before many times and uh, so I just had to cut two of these out and then what Jeff did was basically lay them out on um, a flat board and uh, just some melamine board and then um, lay out uh, carbon fiber and then lay these on the top and then some more carbon fiber and vacuum bag it and you'll see that in a little bit. And here you can see the guys have uh, laid up the braces for two of these rudder skin molds. Um, so they've got those glassed into place so those ones just have to be uh, released now and uh, and then just trimmed off around the edges. And meanwhile, this is the one for those flanges for the upper straight skin. So this has already been waxed now. Just needs to have the rubber profile put around the edge and it'll be ready to pull the mold. And here are those hatch covers. So they've already been laid up and bagged here. So as I said, it's a layer of uh, carbon fiber or a couple of layers of carbon fiber. Then the foam was put down and then more carbon fiber put over the top and then that's bagged. So um, you'll see those in a little bit when they've been uh, released and, and trimmed up, but it doesn't take long to do something like that. Those are really straightforward. And back on the avionics, I've been progressing with doing a whole bunch of things, just again working through my list of different things that I had uh, in the CAD. So the next thing was to get all the switch panel finished up. So you saw last time I was um, wiring it all up at the back, but anyway, I got that all um, wired up there and I've got a, a DB25 uh, connector in there which is just connecting to it basically next to the panel right now but when it goes in the aircraft there'll be a patch line running up to the roof um, with a DB25 um, on it so anyway when I turn it on right now you can see uh, all those um, switches light up it's difficult to see with the light on there so I'll turn that off here and you can have a quick look and see how it looks uh, in the dark and so there's the lights basically and of course when you turn the switch on for a particular thing um, it goes to full bright so right now that's just kind of like at a dim setting but uh, all those are all connected up now and they all basically function um, obviously the thing at the other end is not on with all of them but there I've just turned the avionics master on so when that goes on uh, you see it gets brighter and of course everything else starts to light up there now you see the G5's come on and the, the MFD's coming on and the 750 there in the middle that's lighting up as well and the other LIUs are all powering up obviously they don't all have dis well, they don't have displays and most of them don't even have status lights but uh, you kind of know they're lit up by looking at the uh, VPX and seeing what things drawing current or not. And here are the hatch covers uh, out of the vacuum and uh, Jeff's just done a rough cut around the edges there um, and not rounded them off yet but you'll see that in a little bit and you know they don't weigh very much I didn't bother to weigh them but they're fairly light and a little bit more on the avionics so uh, I also got the um, all the headphone and microphone jacks all wired up and I've just kind of taped them there in place and that so they don't get sort of tangled with everything else so they're all wired up now to the uh, GMA 35C which is the remote audio audio panel um, and you know they just have the runs in there so they'll be uh, able to be installed where they're supposed to be in the console that you might have seen before and uh, meanwhile the guy's got this one uh, glass, the, the bracing for this. So, And you might see in the background there, there's um, Brian's back just for a couple of weeks up until New Year. Brian, who's uh, Keith's brother who was with us over the summertime. And uh, Keith will be back uh, next week as well for about three or four weeks. So uh, yeah, the guy's also got this one done. So this is um, the third one of the, uh, of the rudder uh, skins. And so that one's got the lightweight down, and here they're doing the fourth one. I'm uh, just starting to lay down the, the lightweight uh, glass for that one. So that basically means that's the last of the rudder ones done. 
And here you can see Jeff's nicely trimmed these off and done a really nice job actually. They look super clean and super nice. So those will get some um, some uh, nut plates put in the actual bulkhead there and they'll be able to be bolted in to place because they have to hold the pressure back. So this is where they sit in this opening. So Jeff's going to install a bunch of nut plates around there um, so they can be bolted into place. At least I think that's what's going on. I haven't really been following that much. I've been too busy with avionics. And this is Friday now, so Brian and Devin are working on uh, laying up the mold for this um, straight uh, flanges, upper straight flanges. So it is a pretty small one, but you know, often these small ones with those all those edges and stuff cause more problems than not, you know, because you've got to deal with all those sharp edges and trying to get the glass to lay down can be tricky. And here the last of these two uh, rotor skins now had the lightweight put on them uh, the previous day. So they've had the peel ply taken off now and they're just being prepped, ready to put the heavyweight layers on top. And this is the other one. So, you know, one, one day to put the black top coat down and then uh, the lightweight uh, glass on there and then uh, peel ply it. And then the next day you take the peel ply off and it's ready to put the heavyweight on. Now you might recall last time I had milled these uh, upper and lower elevator skin plugs out of foam. So the guys have cleaned those up now and uh, they're ready to have the uh, fiberglass put over the top in uh, preparation for having the putty sprayed on so uh, it's good to get those ones moving along and back to the avionics so here you can see these are the throttle handles and I, you see I've got the wiring hooked up for those with a DB9 uh, connector and I also have bought and mounted in some little push buttons there which um, mount into the front of the throttles so they're kind of on your uh, forefinger there and that's for the takeoff go around button which basically tells the flight director um, to point your nose up um, in the case of a go around um, after an instrument approach. And this is the overhead console and uh, we already had the lights sort of installed in there before but I basically set up the wiring harnesses because uh, they need to be fed through um, the top roof braces so those are prepped uh, ready for when that goes into place. And at the end of the day on Friday, the guys got uh, this, or well, both of these um, ones in foam got those glass, so they'll be ready to have the putty sprayed on there on Monday, and they'll be, uh, up, well, the first one will be up on the machine by the end of the day on Monday, I'd say. So get those finished um, early in the week, and then the guys will have those to work on, at least they'll be one of the things to work on while I'm away. And uh, likewise, this one got done um, with a lightweight layer, so that'll be getting the heavyweight layers. Uh, next week as well so the guys are really you know getting through the last of all these things fairly quickly which is great and finally on the avionics I got a bunch of other things done I got the landing gear switch put in and this is a connector for the throttle I got the aileron trim wires put in a bunch of other different things all done there as well and I even got the uh, little LED light on the on the uh, key switch there it comes on now so that's kind of neat so there's still a bunch more to do there, but I'm getting through it uh, fairly quickly. And I think by the end of next week, the majority of the wiring will be done um, before I leave. So it's exciting. And then I also want to run the engine again next week once I get that uh, heat exchanger hooked up. So anyway, that's our update for the second half of this week. And thanks again for watching.